a Matthew. <sighs> what kind of question is that? Don't you recognize me? If I know you, Uncle. <laughs> Joy. The person you are looking for is not in. <laughs> Joy, can't you just let me in? I can't let you in. Just leave. Just leave. I should leave. Just leave. What is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me, just that you're not coming to this house. I'll leave. Leave. But I'll come back. Use the door. Everything is fine. The most important thing is I'm home. <laughs> yeah, I'm home. That's true. So what has been happening? How have you guys been coping with the situation? We are healing. Thank God. You know, we have to heal. Yeah. No matter what we do, mom is never going to come back to us. So we need to be strong for that. You know, we, we three of us are all he's got. You are right, sis. Okay. Hope you brought something for us. Of course I bought something for you girls. Just enough. Let me first of all go in freshen up. So, mm. I'll throw the package for you. I first. <laughs> sis, let me help you do the Okay. Oh. What comes next? I'm coming. Bye. Bye. Why are you wearing that? Probably inside. Okay. Oh. Okay. See it? Exactly what I told you that the beginning may be very difficult, but the end justifies the means. Yeah. Now, at least <clears throat> you are a very happy person because soon you will be graduating, isn't it? Yes, really. It's not been easy, like you said, but I'm glad I'm home. But it's sad that. Mom isn't here now that I'll be graduating. It's okay. God knows the best. Hmm? <laughs> Hello, Angels. How are you? Beautiful children of mine. So, what was it? There is something we want to tell you. You want to tell me something? Yes, Dad. The both of you? Yes, Dad. Okay. <clears throat> that is all ears. So, what was it? Dad, my phone is old. I want to change it. And you? <sighs> okay, Dad. The decoration in my room is old. I would like to change the paint to maybe pink, yellow, 
White piece. What? The decoration in your room is barely three months and you want to change it? Are you for real? It's okay. Um, I remember it's not long. I got you a new phone. And you want to change that one to another phone. Yes, Lord. It's all right. And you, um, don't worry. By this time tomorrow, I will invite another painter to paint your room for you. Hmm? And the decorator to come and give you any color of your choice. If that will make you happy. Yes, Daddy. And uh, please, you. don't worry. I will get you another phone. Oh, thank right? you, Daddy. Yeah, oh, thank you. Don't worry. Hmm? Dad, you shouldn't do everything they ask for all the time. I am not doing exactly what they want. I am their happiness. And if I don't do it, who will? Mm -hmm. I will be looking out as well. This is my real investment. Don't you think that? <laughs> That's my <laughs> dad. The three of you here, please bring in a suitable in-law to come and get married to you people. Dad. And as for you, I don't like the shape of the boy I saw you last. <laughs> Whatever is in why is very short. You need someone that has a little bit of muscle. <laughs> you want? Well, let me catch my breath upstairs while I allow the three of you enjoy yourselves. Yeah. Okay, okay, daddy. Okay. <laughs> see the two of you. Big C. See the two of you. You're busy wasting that money. Yes. To me, that's a waste. Look. The decoration in my room is old. Everyone is fine. Yes, we're healing. I'm so happy I'm back home. Yes, it is. Yes. Well, it's all good. So, how is your family? How is Bola? I hope there are no crises there. Okay. All right, do have a nice day, okay? And thanks for calling. Bye. Online, then. Very beautiful, this dress. My goodness. Oh my god, this is so fine. Right? Yeah, it is. Oh my god, really? this is so fine. Really? Don't tell me you're getting this dress. She is. Right? Take it of on. course. My dad fine. has the money. Yes, that is capable. Yes, that is capable. Really? That's all you girls are good at. All right, girls. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Daddy, yes. welcome. How was your day? Excellent. Thank God for Donny Mess. Everything went well. Now, I have a question. Who amongst you shut the door on Vera? Yes, I said, who amongst you shut the door on Vera? Nobody's talking. I did that, but I only told her to leave. Joy, let this be the last time you will insult my visitors. And I mean it. Dad, I never insulted her. I just told her to leave that you are not around. You told her to leave? Yes, Dad. You know what? I don't want you to insult anyone that is coming to this place to visit me. As a matter of fact, I've asked her to come, and then you are going to apologize. But dad, mom is dead. She should stop coming. 
Will you shut up your mouth and don't you ever talk back if I'm talking? If you do that nonsense again, I would slap you. I mean it. So it has got to that point that you don't have respect for me. What exactly did she do to you? You don't like her. You don't like her. Then you better like her because I am bringing her into this house. And I mean it. You should stop coming. Stop coming to our house. Okay. Just apologize when she comes around. Okay? You know what? Your sister is becoming something else. And if you don't apologize, you will see what I will do to me in this house. Let me have my bag. Yeah. Go. No. Nobody should doubt me. If it has come to that point that you cannot respect her, then you are not capable of staying in this house. Eh? All sex. You have to apologize to her. Don't to anybody. She stop coming here. What is your name? Joy. You should stop coming. Just like I explained, I need you all to understand with me. How, Dad? It's really too much after Mom's barrier. And you're planning to take in another wife. Dad, this is not right at all. You see, I need to make something clear to the three of you here. You need a woman to call a mother. We are old enough to take care of ourselves, Dad. We don't need a mom. We don't need a mom. What are you trying to tell me? Don't you realize that I come from somewhere? Don't you realize that I have a village? And in my village there are traditions and customs that governs the things we do. Yes, I know my wife is no more, but she's done her best. I need to bring in another woman, at least as a man. Or you think I'm an imbecile or I, should, I don't have feelings. I don't have a sensation moving around me. It's not right. What I am saying is that you people should allow Vera to be part of this family. Huh? Or you want me to be moving around sleeping with all those women in the hotel. Is that? Daddy, isn't it too early for you to get another one? Exactly what I'm trying to make him understand. Daddy, it's too early. And it is too early. The question is, what time do you think is ripe for me to take in another woman into this family? What is the appropriate time that you think or consider that it is better for me to bring in another woman into this family? I have just told you, I am the one providing the needs of this family. And I can stand my ground that I have to spread an open consultation does not mean I don't know what to do. I just wanted you people to understand with me. Vera is a very wonderful woman and hard working for that matter. And if she comes into this family, I am super sure she's going to change the face of this family. All I am asking from the three of you is just to give her that enabling environment to be part of us. Simple. When the teen will grab me, can you people help me out? You people are my children. Should I go and grab three and start to do it there? Don't you think I have the sensation moving in and out of me? I am a human being and I have blood running through me too. You know what? I provide the needs of this family. So I will stand my ground. I will do what pleases me. I will do what pleases me because I am the father of this family. I provide the needs of each and every one of you. And I have to bring in a woman that I feel it suits my status as a man. You want me to go about into all those hotels, sleeping with useless women everywhere. I won't do that. Vera is a wonderful woman. And she will come here and change the face of the family. And you people will see it. Some of you will be the, 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 the testimony of what Vera is bringing into this family. Watch and see. Huh? Go and get me something to eat. Dad, I don't need a mom. Dad, Dad, you can't take her in. Do you want me to be flitting around with ladies? Very soon, 
you and your sisters will get married and I will be left alone in this house. I need a woman that will continue with me when you people are no longer around. All I just want is for you people to understand my situation. All right, Dad. That's okay. Thank you for understanding, okay? But Dad, I hope she's a good woman. I don't want a troublesome stepmom, especially for the sake of my sisters. Vera is a very interesting woman. Fun to be with. Hmm? Soon you will get to love her, alright? At least let her come in and prove herself. Alright, Dad. Why are you not sleeping by this time? I don't feel like sleeping. You don't want to sleep? Why? Nothing. <sighs> See, is there anything you want or you need that daddy has not provided for you? Okay, tell me. What do you want? I don't need anything from you. You don't need anything from me and you are not sleeping? Can you tell me exactly what is wrong? It's about your children. The last time I discussed with them, they refused to accept me. Who told you they refused to accept you? That is not true. You don't have option. They will accept you as time goes on. It's only going to take some time for them to get acquainted with you. And you need to work these things out yourself. When? When they hate me so much with passion? I just don't like it when you talk like this. Hate you? They don't hate you. You should realize that these children are missing their mother. And it will take them a little time for them to get used to another woman. What you need to do is to develop love and show them more cares. And as time progresses, you'll see the best coming out of them. Is that the reason why you refuse to sleep with daddy? How do you want me to sleep? Just imagine the time, 3.30. And that's exactly when real men understand what comes out from the spiritual way. Don't you know there are female genders? And I need a man. If I joke with 3.30, when will you produce the real man for me? And that you need someone across. Come on, don't do this. Come on. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. So you accepted her? We just have to. Let's allow him to have the love he deserves. You know, he deserves all the love, care, support, everything. Let's allow him have his way. Well, it's okay. Let it go. Come on. Thank you so much. You know I love you both. Well, are you sure she's going to be a good mother? That I can guarantee. But let's just allow dad have the love that he deserves. This is what he wants and needs from us at this point. Our support.
John, food is ready. Hmm? The food is on the dining table. Thank you, but I'm not hungry. Come on, Joy, don't say that. Eh? I know in the morning you have your breakfast at all. Eh? And this is past 12, lunch time. There is a meeting going on online, but I can't leave it. You can put it on the dining. Once I'm done, I'll come eat. Okay, if you say so, no problems. I've heard you. Dad, don't you think it's too early for you to marry her? Do you really know her? No. It's not too early. I think I know her because she works for me. I study her characters and apart from that, uh, she's my secretary. Someone that I relate to very often in the office. Dad, I mean, do you really know her very well? Is she going to be a good wife for you? <laughs> Talking about housewife, you know, anything concerning marriage, my dear, is inconclusive. You don't just uh, talk about marriage, but, you know, when people are coming together to marry each other, there is this growing thing. I believe we still have to understand ourselves, grow in the marriage, and then develop other parts of uh, the relationship. All I am expecting now is for my goods to safely arrive from abroad. So I will make a quick sale of it. Then arrange with my kingsmen here home and then to go see her people soonest. It's okay. As far as it makes you happy, I have no problem with it. It's all right. I'm also happy that at least you are understanding my situation. <laughs> You're welcome. How is your studies? It's going on well. Thank you. Keep it up, eh? <laughs> Baby. Oh, no. My love, I'm trying to know what you're doing. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Mm, I'm waiting enough now. Hmm? You said that I should wait till two months time to discuss with your kinsmen. Two months is too long now. Hmm? This is one thing with you. <laughs> two months is not too much. Mm. Before you know it, eh? The way these days run, it will just run past. It's not about me. It's about tradition and culture. I've informed them that I should give them two months to arrange amongst themselves who and who will follow me to your family's house. Do you want me to come alone? Eh? Hmm? And it's not being patient, and eh? this is not being patient. We have known each other for a very long time. Eh? Eh? We have known each other almost so almost many years now. Eh? And we are talking about kinsmen. Can't you do it without the kinsmen? No. I'm even beginning to reason in that direction because of love I have for you. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm? Mm. I am going to defy the, this uh, tradition thing. Mm -hmm. I will come to your house without this uh, king's men of a thing. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> you know, mm. if I carry them to that place now, they'll come and finish all the old drinks. And, <laughs> and you're very sure. Of them, they don't even have transport to go back home. <laughs> Everything will be telling on me. I will tell you that I'm a city man. I will come to your house, eh? Mm. Just for you to be making me happy. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. I love you so much. Honey. In a bedroom, eh? Mm -hmm. A man can promise his life. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, you're, you're very funny. You're very funny. You're very funny. You're very funny.
I want to use this occasion to appreciate, to thank all of you for your contribution, your efforts, in making sure that um, the marriage between me and my beautiful wife on that day was very successful. I really saw the effort you all put in, in bringing our new mommy back home. I saw you all shining and working hard. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. hmm. Thank you, my children. I promise to be a good mom to you all. And also a good wife to my sweet husband here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at you. I told you that when she comes in, she will be a wonderful woman. That she will change the face of the family. You are just seeing it. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you, my dear. See, um, these are your children. Yes, mm -hmm. I know. You should take care of them. I will. All right? I will. See them as your own children. No problem. Another thing I want to inform you all about is that um, I will be embarking on a journey, two weeks journey precisely. I will be away for a business engagement. Please, I need absolute tranquility, peace. Let harmony reign in this house. I don't need any sort of quarrel. I don't need fighting. Please, cooperate with your new mother. And I'm sure that Vera will do everything possible to make sure that you are all well taken care of. All right? Sorry. Did I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. In the meantime, each and every one of you here, I will credit your account so that you can be able to buy things that you need for yourselves. I will also leave some money with her so that uh, she will continue to provide for you all. Meanwhile, uh, peace. This evening, you will join me to the market so that I will buy some foodstuffs and load the kitchen. I don't want anything to lack in this house. Hmm? Okay, Dad. Good. Um, Beauty. Yes, Dad. Exactly when are you traveling back? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Yes. That means I will need to drop you off on my way going out to the park, all right? All right. Good. Um, every other thing should be later. Right, the rest of you should enjoy yourself. Thank um, you, Daddy. You, two of you. Eh? Look after your mom. Hmm? Yes, I don't want to Definitely. Yes. Okay. All right. Please. All right, guys. Allow us to get acquainted. <laughs> All right. Bye, girls. Thank you. You're wonderful children. Yeah, they are. See, this medium size is my problem. <laughs> The last one of the house. Yes, but well, she eats a lot. Uh -uh. She doesn't eat like last one. Ah, <laughs> that is the mosquito you have. Uh -huh. I don't know where this trouble is coming from. What is the matter? I can't accept it. What kind of insult is that? I still don't understand. How, how can you tell the children that you give them money? I'm the madam of the house now. It's my duty to keep money in this house. Eh? Everything in this house is supposed to be under my care, not the children. This money is meant for their upkeep. And this is exactly how I've been doing since ever we've been living together here, before you came in. Honey, you're not always with these children. You don't know what they are doing. These are your children. They spend money anyhow. Transfer the whole money to me. Whatever they need, they should come to me. I give them. Or I buy it for them. Instead of them wasting money. Honey, I've told you. Why are you always generating trouble here and there? Hmm. Eh? This, my daughters are not kids. They know how to maximize money. They know how to manage money. As a matter of fact, they don't spend money unnecessarily. Or spend money on items they don't need. They are grown up enough. So what is the problem here now? What you want is that I should transfer the whole money into your account. Yes. So that you should now be the one to give to them, isn't it? That is it. Don't worry. Tomorrow, I still have your account. I will transfer the whole money. Can we go to the Hey, hey. When you are talking, you are up. Boss lady. Boss lady. I love you so much. Nah. Hey. I <laughs> because you will be the one in control of money. I'm the one. I'm the madam of the house. I lie down and give me the bag. 
backside. I'm the one in control of myself. <laughs> Miss Vera, please excuse me. I'm trying to read that since yesterday. But his line is not going through. I've not received the more he promised to send. Mm. Firstly, I don't know why you would call me Mrs. Vera instead of Mrs. Dennis. No respect. Secondly, I've not heard from my own husband, my sweet husband. I've not heard from him too. He complained about bad network coverage in that place. So, I don't know. He promised to send me money and I've not received any. Or did he drop anything? <laughs> my dear, whatever you call yourself, I don't want to know. I don't want to call that your name again. What is your business with my husband, my precious husband, dropping money or anything with me? What is your problem with it? Or what is your business with it? I'm sorry, but. Mm. Today, about body death. Don't ever in your life bought me. I mean, don't ever bought me. Please, it's better you walk out with this your chekeleke leg out of fear. Let me eat my food in peace. What up from here? People have not even started. You have not seen anything in this house. Me, Vera. Who <laughs> think you, you, you are wise? I'm not going to shut down. <laughs> Yeah, Allah. Let him shut down. You don't understand, kill you dear. You don't understand, kill you dear. Eh? You are eating meat as if you can afford it. Come on, give it to me as a Come on, give, give it to me as a So I will cook. Eh? You will balance and pack the one. Can you imagine? How many meat is even here? You will balance and be eating. As if you can afford God punish you, dear idiot. Let me, let me, let me, let me see you take it again. Oh, yeah, right. Can you imagine this idiot? Eh? She even came out of the gospel pack. Like, sorry. I have my woe get the back. going on. We barely eat three square meal in this house. Why do you keep locking the kitchen when going out? <laughs> because it is my kitchen. I do whatever I like. So, do you have any problem with that? Mrs. Vera, you've completely changed. You're no longer that calm stepmom that I used to know. Your father has traveled. I'm the one in charge now. So whatever I say, you obey. So don't ever in your life ask me that silly questions again. Are you not old enough to feed yourself in this house? Of course I know I'm old enough to take care of myself. That no distraction on ground. That was why he sent money to us. Yet we did not receive the money. Please told me yesterday 
that you took a piece of rice and one that would not eat meat in this house. Why? <laughs> Say, don't ever in your life ask me that silly questions again. See, let me give you this message and pass it to others. Starting from today, no more eating of meat in this house or watching of movies. Do you get that? Not talking about going out without my consent. Do you get that? Because your father has assigned me to take care of you girls and you stupid and white child. Don't disturb me. Allow me to do my work in this house. This is not fair. This is not fair. Say this is not fair. <laughs> is there anything fair in this life? Nothing is fair in this life. Not even you. You're not even fair. Do you understand me? And let me tell you, this night, get ready. We are eating ever. What? Ever. Because that is what we have. That is what we have in this house. Get ready to eat it. Me, I'm not eating ever. I'm not eating ever. You have no choice. You have no choice to tell me or to detect for me what we eat in this house. Whatever I say, that is what every of you will obey in this house. Get out! I'm not eating a bath. You have no choice. You can you can go to hell for her and care. Idiots. Yeah, Allah. <laughs> I'm not eating a bath this night. And yes, come and eat fried rice and chicken. Mom, are you busy? No, anything. What is happening? Dad sent me a message that he sent you money to give to us. Point of correction. I'm not your mom. I'm your stepmother. Secondly, your father did not send me any money to give to you girls. Do you understand me now? I don't know where this is coming from. Your father promised to send money when he gets there. And he sent me a token. That be using to put food on the table for us. Oh, he sent you money, right? Yes, he did. Because I need money for something. What do you need it for? What should I tell you? So, if you don't want to tell me, so get out. Okay, okay. There is this promo online that they do to attract more customers. I just need 30,000 naira to get here. You mean you want to use 30,000 naira to, to get just a wig? Yes. Why your maids out there are buying wigs of 5,000 naira and they are maintaining it? Ha! Huh. We are not even serious at all. Have you seen the reason why I told your father to hand over all the money to me? Because you girls lavish money a lot. What kind of stupid thing is that? Just wig, 30,000 naira. Oh my God. So he sent you money and you are denying us of it. Yes, he did. And I'm not going to give it to you, no matter how you cry. Why are you this heartless? I need this hair for a competition coming up that would fetch me more money. John, if you are done talking, leave my presence. I don't have any money to give to you or anyone. And don't try calling your father on phone because he's very busy. Are you kidding me? You use our money for something else. Why are you so ridiculous? Joy, you are too big for this. Are you not old enough to make money for yourself? Of course I know I'm old enough to make money for myself, but that is why daddy sent you money because he knows that we need this money. Don't disturb your father. Don't even call him on phone because he's very busy working. Look at this one. Is it me you are shaking your for? Come and collect 30,000 and buy me. It's something to be asking for money for you to buy your books. Handouts. You are talking about wig. Idiot. Stupid. I bet let me consider with my movie first.
I mean, why is she treating us like this? It's only now that you're broke. I just don't know. I wish Dad was here. Just imagine since morning we've not even eaten. Not even sobbing our phones. Talk of the devil, she's here. Welcome, ma'am. Yes, what is it? Why did you go out and lock the kitchen? You know that we've not eaten since morning. And what is my business with that? Go out there and make money for yourselves. You know that test is. He has seen us under pressure. He prefer we become boss of our own. I see. That is why you girls, you girls are spoiled. Over petting. Over petting everywhere. You guys are just spoiled. Where shall I? The only thing available now is Gary. Maybe you girls should so Gary until I cook. What? Mom, we can't cook. And where do you want to do that? In my own kitchen. My husband's kitchen. My own kitchen. People should not enter my kitchen. No one should enter my kitchen. When you go to your husband's house, you can do that, not in my own husband's house. Do you understand me now? And none of you should touch my pot. Do you get it? Rubbish. Is she, is she kidding me right now? Did she, did she just say you're eating down? Do you see what I'm saying? You see, this woman is wicked. You keep protecting her, supporting her. You see it? I'm not supporting her. I'm not saying what she's doing is right. Just let it I'm not done now. Uh, I'm not done now. I'm not done now. It's been fast. Alright. You didn't take any help. I did not go. Your stepmom did not give me the money. That wicked woman. She's not wicked. She's not wicked. Okay, wait. Get your tongue. You know that she's not wicked. She entered this house. What is happening here? What are you guys doing in my kitchen? What are you guys doing in my kitchen? What are you doing in my kitchen? Can't you see that I'm washing the dishes? I'm not blind. I can see what you are doing. You're washing the dishes. Uh -huh. What did you use this for? What did you use this for? What did you use this for? It's not for eating. Oh, you guys have the cost to enter my kitchen, use my pot. Eh? Joy, have I not asked you not to enter my kitchen? I don't know why you're not taking my kitchen. What is that? I am giving that place also. Give it to me. This is my father's house. And this is my husband's house. So go and marry. Go and marry and go to your husband's house. Not my own husband's house. Are you okay? I am giving that place also. Give it to me. 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 Give it to it's yours. You know that man, you're coming back. Hello, honey. Honey, good afternoon. What is it? Why are you crying? Honey. Honey, it's joy, yo. It's joy. Joy is making this house uncomfortable for me. I don't understand. I don't know what I did to her. Can you imagine what happened today? Joy said I should, not, I should stop calling her my daughter. But I'm not her mother. And I'm a very witch. Can you imagine that? It did not even end there. I was in the kitchen. I was in the kitchen. Bunny or Sota. Joy came inside the kitchen. She said I should not use her water. What's the meaning of that? Hey, in my husband's house. The next day, Joy stayed dragging the hot water with me. Now she poured it on my hand. <laughs> Joy poured hot water on my hand. Honey. <laughs> Your children want to keep me in this house. Oh. 
They want to kill me in this house. I don't know what I did to them. They want to kill me. Oh. <laughs> Honey, just try and come back home, please. Come back quick, oh. Come back quick before they will kill me in this house. Your children will kill me here, yeah, please, oh. Please, eh. Okay, stop crying. I will soon come back. I've been down for some time now. Gone for checkup. They said nothing is wrong with me. I am having internal pains. I'm sorry for your hand. I will send you some money to treat yourself. And it's not the boy is hurting me yet. He's paining me so much. <laughs> I will call Joy right away. And I will ask her to apologize immediately. I'm sorry about that. Okay, honey. <laughs> okay, Frank, come back fast. Oh. Okay, take care. Bye bye. I love you so much, my husband. Bye. Take care of yourself for me. Nonsense. This should have not seen anything. Me, Veronica. You never see anything. I will deal with them in this house. Stupid children. They don't even know anything. They are joking with me. Velo. <laughs> I am here. I'm in charge of this house. Um, sorry. That is calling. Pick the call and put it on loudspeaker. Hello, Dad. Good afternoon. Thank God you called. Dad, there is something I want to tell you. Oh, shut up. Don't even complain about my wife to me. You have done more than enough damage. Why would you insult her? Dad, she's the one that... Why would you tell her not to call you her daughter? What gave you that God to pour hot water on her? Dad! Oh, shut up. When I come back, you will tell me what gave you such gods to fight my wife. She lied to Dad. Why would she do that? It's okay, sorry. Sorry. I know that woman is an evil woman. I told you. Sorry, yeah. It's okay, you'll be fine. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, yeah. Very, very dance. My dear, I've been reading so hard. Thus, I want to make my papers once. Me too. And you? Ah. You've not been coming to class. Please don't disturb me. Ah, let me enjoy myself first. See? <clears throat> Mama, did you see me? If I say make a carry book read for nights like this, I go fall asleep. Life and death. Well, Joy is the book home among us. Yes, yeah, so don't worry. We'll come to your house. We'll come and do sleep over. We teach all of us together. You know, you 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 sabi book way way. Imagine if you want to read, you sleep off. You have left people at work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like them, man. I don't like them. Don't worry. We'll, we'll come sleep over. We're going to teach. You know, you're the book home among us. Can you hear her? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Joy, what is going on here? As you can see, nothing is going on. What are, they, what are these things doing here? Oh, they are my friends. They're your friends. And on whose permission did you invite them here? Ah? What do you do, my truth? Can you imagine? Uh -huh. My favorite for that matter. My favorite juice. You went to my room, at my kitchen. You went to the kitchen and took my juice. Did you buy juice in this house? I gave to this smelling thing to drink. I'm very stupid. Rubbish.
Why is your stepmother always behaving this way? She called us things. I'm sorry, I'm you. sorry, guys. I'm Babe, sorry. You're not like this, you're not. I'm sorry for this, brother. Gosh. My God. What? Madam Vera, Madam Vera, I won't let you come in here to inflict pains on my sisters. What you did is totally unacceptable. It's wrong. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do to change it. I'm the one in charge, not you. So this is who you truly are. You derive joy in eating my sister's money and allow your father shout at them. <laughs> Beauty, my ATM card, my ATM card, give it to me. What will you do? Give my ATM card. Beauty, my ATM card, give it to me. I just took it. My ATM card. Beauty, you can't have this. You won't like what I do. At least there's money inside. You won't like what I do. What will you do? My ATM card one. Look at this girl. You won't like what I'll do. This is what you want. I said you won't like it. Don't give it to her. Give it to me. There's money in this. I said right? she give it to me. Don't give it to her. Don't give it to her. Wicked woman. You can't have it. Give it to me. I said you can't have it. 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 You can't have what happened to you? See, uh, as you can see, it's not feeling fine. See, I need you guys to do me a favor. Take him upstairs and take very good care of him, okay? Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank my legs are cut. Sorry, my legs are cut. Sorry, Oh, remove your hand now. Sorry, sorry. Drugs, eh? Yeah? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> uh, just get here soon. So that we'll start making our own babies. Huh? All right. Mm -hmm. Honey, there's something I want to tell you. Why would you think I would treat your children bad? Hmm? You believed everything they had said. I keep on telling you, you are spoiling these children. You are. Honey, that is not the issue on ground. Why would the two of them be saying the same thing at the same time? I don't believe the two of them will be lying at the same time. Honey, they are women. I'm training them to be contented. It's just a mere lie. Huh? It's okay. And so, after this drug, what did the doctor say? <sighs> The doctor said you'll be fine and um, 
that the typhoid and the malaria is much on your in your body that they need urgent treatment that's why he gave me these drugs i should be giving it to you every morning and night now you'll be fine you'll be fine yeah. Yeah? thank you okay baby sorry yeah? Beauty, you should come back here. I said you should come back here. You should not talk to me. I said you should come back here. Beauty, I'm talking to you. Beauty, you're walking out on me. I said you should come back here. Are you mad? Give it to me. Give me the car. Why do you think you're going with the car? Give it to me. I've talked to that already, and he's giving me his consent to use his car. Did you ask me his wife? Did you ask me his wife? Vera, give me the car. You stupid. Did you ask me his wife before going out with the car? Vera, this is my father's car and not yours. I owe you no explanation. And I'm his wife. I have every right to send anything. So give it to me. Give me the car keys. Not when I'm still alive. Excuse me. You are coming back at me. Are you mad? Look at this stupid girl. Can you imagine? Oh my god. This girl has been weeks to talk back at me. To talk back at me. Beauty. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry, you come back to this house. You come and meet me. Big girls. Can you imagine these two big girls? They are angels. Imagine this big girl. Stop to me. Because I. Oh my god. Don't worry. Dad, what's really happening to you? I mean, what kind of sickness is this? I really don't know. It's so confusing. But the doctor said he has to be here until he finds out what happened to him. What is really happening? Who is against our family? Who wants to take dad away from us? You children should stop disturbing yourselves. I'll be fine. What is stepmom doing about this? All she cares is to eat, make up, go out for shopping. She's not even helping us. It's okay. We just need to pray for dad. We need to pray for healing. Joy, go and get that food. No, I'm not hungry. Dad, you need to take your medication. You need to eat something. Please, do I go? Wait, and get one. Sorry, Dad. You'll be fine, okay? That you have grown up children and a wife too. Is it not proper you write your will and keep? Um, I'm suggesting I'm not wishing you bad. I'm not wishing you anything bad. I'm all I'm not praying for something bad to happen to you. Just it's just a suggestion. I don't know. What do you think about it? Are you wishing me dead? God forbid I wish my husband dead. I can't. How will I do such a thing? I'm just suggesting that you, you write your will and keep because your children are old enough and I'm here too. You just write it and keep in case anything happens. Well, nothing will happen and I am not writing anyway. Why? You heard me right. I am not writing any will. Uh, well, it's okay. If you say so, no problem. 
is your choice. There's no problem. Just Why are you here to see? I'm here to see peace. You're here to see peace. Yes, ma'am. Peace is not in. How? We just spoke on the phone and she said she's at home. And so? Peace is no longer staying here. Eh? And so what? Hey, Rose. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Shh. Hey, you. Out! Mom. I said out! What are you waiting for? Mom, why won't you tell Rose I don't stay here anymore? Nonsense question. Nonsense question. You're asking me question. Hey, you. Out! Stop! No. Get out! Out! No. I'll call you. Out! And you. Henceforth. No more visitor in this house without my permission. Did you get that yes, or? Did you get that? No more. Did you get that? Why no? Try next time. It's yours. Mommy, I won't accept that. I will not accept such. You cannot give such money to your to your daughter. Eh? Have you ever given me such money before? You cannot. Only. Let's be realistic here. I always do. This money she's asking for is meant for her school project. And you know it. Please don't do this to that young lady. It's not nice at all. Just tell her you don't have the money. Just tell her that. Tell her you don't have the money. So I should lie to my daughter. I should deny her now that she needed this money for something important to her future. I should lie to her. Why? Why would I do such a thing? But I told you about my friends at Shabi. I told you about her wedding. So I need that money for the wedding. I need it. I need to buy you a Shabi now. Eh? Money. Just because you want to buy a shabby to attend your friend's upcoming wedding, eh? So I should deny my daughter money meant for her school project. Is that nice? Now, what about the other shabbies you've been buying that are so many in the wardrobe? Have you finished using them? Why now? I don't want to listen to this thing I say. Just give me the money. The Ashobi is very important. I know that that's school fees, whatever you call it. I don't care about it. Give me the money. You must give it to me. You must give it to me. You must give it to me. I'm just warning you now. You must give me that money. Hmm. Once a man gets married to a bad woman, the devil becomes your automatic father-in-law. This is the situation in my house now. Restless. Dad has been posting me for the past two weeks now. I asked him for money for my project, but for the first time, Dad has refused to give it to me. He kept on promising and failing. I really don't know what's wrong. I think someone is not telling him to go down. I suspect that that Vera, that wicked woman. I'm suspecting her. You know, we shouldn't be judging her like that. Look, I know she can't do something like that. Says who? Well, whatever is the problem, whoever is behind it, I'll find out. <sighs> Can you just calm down?
What's happening to daddy? Why does conditions keep getting worse day by day? Mom, what is the doctor saying about it? He said he's going to undergo surgery. But he didn't state the kind of surgery. I'm not sure this is a hospital matter. It is a spiritual matter. We should call the herbalist or the seer. God forbid I take my husband to a seer or a herbalist. Eh? Do you know these people at all? Do you know what they can do? They are evil. They are evil people. You don't know them. They are give and take people. I can't take my husband to them. I believe God Almighty will do something. Let's hope on God. God will heal my husband for me. But he's not responding to treatment. I wonder what kind of sickness is this? Let's just hope on God. Eh? Let's believe God Almighty will do something. He has never failed. And he can never fail in our own time. Eh? He's the author and the finisher of our faith. I believe this God. What God cannot do does not exist. Let's hope on him. He will do something for us. My husband. Just take it. You'll be fine, yeah? God is your strength. Everything will be fine. Father's health condition is getting worse day by day. Yes, but the drugs are not even working. Instead, it's getting worse. We are all so confused. We don't even know what to do. We can't afford to lose him. even think if you survive this. <laughs> and I don't even know what you did to attract this on yourself. <laughs> and if you don't write your will and give to me, I will leave this marriage for you. I will. Instead of you to leave, I will sign the will to help me call my lawyer. Okay, honey. I'll call the lawyer for you. Eh? Don't worry, you'll be fine, yeah? I know you'll survive it, don't worry. to take good care of yourselves please right you need to stay strong for dad yeah. you know I know he doesn't speak but I'm very sure he hears so you need to go up every time to speak words of encouragement to him all right definitely okay, please take good care of yourselves 
Hmm? You will. You will. Alright. I love you so much. When are you coming back? Ah, sooner than you think. Alright. We're gonna take care of Dad and promise nothing will happen to him. We will take care of Dad together. Okay. to um, a girlfriend of mine who's a medical doctor and while we're discussing I told her about dad's health condition despite the drugs he's been taking so she requests I send her the names of the drugs that we've got which I did and when she called me back she said the drugs were actually meant to kill him but since it's not working that means it's fake that I should go to the pharmacist and get a new one to replace the old one so I had to administer the drugs to dad since Mom is not around. But while trying to trash the old ones, I noticed the color differs and the different smell. Who girls, I really don't know what's going on, but there is someone trying to poison Dad. What? Who is trying to poison Dad? I suspect his friends. He should be the one responsible for all of this. Or even that doctor. I don't know who it is yet, but until we find out, we need to check on that every minute of the day. Okay? And I'll suggest something. Anytime any of his friends comes visiting, I mean, any one of them comes visiting, we need to be with that. To avoid any other complications, okay? All right, let me read you girls now. I love My children, we all saw how it happened. How we lost my husband, just like that, leaving me with this pregnancy. How will I cope? How will I train my child without his father? We're here for you. 
We will take very good care of you and your baby. You know, we're still one big family. <laughs> I wanted to tell you about the pregnancy today, but it's not here. It's not here now. It's not here, it's not here, it's not here. The preparation for the burial is on. <laughs> <laughs> the lawyer. The lawyer? Yes, he will be coming in a few days' time. <laughs> I thought he's after the burial. He will be coming next week to read the will. <laughs> so, after the will, what next? Let him come first. Go punish that person that killed my husband. That person that made me a video just few months after my marriage. You not say anything. You will not say anything. That person just made me a widow. Look at me now. Why not say you to be a widow? That person will not say anything. Look at me. Good morning, everyone. As you all know, my name is Barrister Joe. I've been the personal barrister to your dad and husband, the disease, Mr. Dennis Ibe. It's a great loss. He was such a great man. And may he so rest in peace. In this vow contains the will written and stamped by my client, Mr. Dennis Igwe, your father and husband. Whatever I say here was written and stamped by Mr. Dennis Igwe. So listen attentively as I read out the will. Okay. To my beloved wife, I give you my car, my company. In, oh, sorry, sorry. This has been a mix up. This is a mistake. Let me. Ah, okay, yeah. Here we go. To my beloved wife, Mrs. Lily Dennis, to my pride, and the, and the morning sun, to you I give my company in Nigeria, five plot of land with a car of your choice. Name it and my lawyer will provide it. But you are not here, so it will be given to my first daughter, Beauty, as a gift. To Beauty, I give my company in the United States, four plots of land in Abuja, a car of a choice and a house in either Lagos, Abuja, or Potakot. She should make her choice. To peace, I see a great woman in her. To her, I give my company in Lagos, my farm for three, three plots of land, and any car of a choice. To my baby girl, my last born, to the love of my life. She has always loved violence. To you, I give this house, two plots of land, my fish farm, a car of your choice, my company in Port Arcot, my rented house in Imo, every four months trip to the United States, and any car of your choice. To you, my wife, Mrs. Vera, if I am remarried without a child from her, I will give her three million, a car, and my rented house in Avia. This is the will. Mr. Barrister, wait, whatever you call yourself. This, I'm not sure this is my husband's will. What of the other one that he signed? You mean the one you made him sign? I beg your pardon. 
This is Vera. Are you not happy with the way that I read? How do you want me to be happy with this? My husband just gave me three million naira. What do I do with that? Three million naira with a car, a house, not even in Lagos, Abba. What do I do with that? Eh? I'm even pregnant for him. What happened to other other companies? What happened to his companies in United States and Nigeria here? He gave them to his children. Okay, his children are not better than me. His wife. Why are you so uncontented? Shut up. I said she shut up. Don't even say any word. I don't want to hear anything from you. You are just a child. You know nothing about this. Oh, really? So why don't you tell me more of what I don't know? Who is the doctor came to you? A doctor, as he said? Yeah, a doctor. What about the other day you brought him in? The day that was in the hospital. And you thought we we're, were all asleep. Now you can't remember anything. Please, I don't know what you're talking about. Really? You also can't remember those sweet text messages he's been sending to you? You even brought him in here and you both made out. In your own matrimonial bed. And he's a father of that child. Shut up! How do you know all that? Who told you? You slept with another man and plan on traveling to abroad. True or false? False. Madame Vera, you need to say the truth, or the police will take you away. Okay, I, 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 I will, I will say the truth. I will. I will talk. I will talk. Your mother. Oh. Your your mother and I. We are good friends, and oh God, I met your dad first. I met him first, so I introduced him to your mom. But she went behind me and married your father. So I felt betrayed and I poisoned her. I killed her. You killed my mother. You killed my mother. You killed my mother. You this evil woman. You killed her. I killed her and it's okay, mistress. I married your father, not because I love him. I didn't love him again. I married him just to take everything that belongs to him. I married him because of his wealth to just useless him. That's why I came into this family. And your father abandoned me and went after your mom. So I planned everything with Dr. Mark. I poisoned him. And I was giving him drugs that would kill him slowly. Mark and I planned everything to kill him and run away with his money to Dubai. I am happy that he's dead. I am happy. So, so happy. He left me for your mom. And who is dead? Daddy! You think I'm dead? No, I'm Mr. Dennis. What happened to you? What happened to you? Evil woman. You think you can kill me? Greed is your problem. But I am grateful to God for giving me such wonderful and intelligent children. May the Lord bless all of you. Amen. I'm grateful. I did not regret anything I thought. Everything I did to you, I did it 
because you are a wicked man. You left me for my friend. How could you? How could you, Mr. Dennis? Wicked man! I wish you are dead. I wish you are dead. I don't even know why you are still alive. Evil man. Yes. When I noticed dad was dying gradually, and I noticed we were losing him, I spoke to a doctor friend of mine who asked me to change the drugs. And when I noticed you were always into him, so much into him, I knew you were up to something. So my sisters and I, including my dad here, we came up with this. We're in this together. Dad, we want you to pretend as if you're dead. At least that will enable us find out who poisoned you. We're suspecting the doctor, but we're not sure if Beres has a hand in it. But until then, please, pretend as if you're dead. We'll take you to a hotel where you will heal completely. Are you sure that is a good idea? That, that's the only option we have right now. At least that will enable us to know who the culprit is. All right. I will leave the rest for you people to work it out. Thank you very much. <laughs> Madam Vera, you are evil and a murderer. And I promise you, you're going to rot in jail. Officers! Grab her before she runs. Officers! Let them in. <laughs> <laughs> 